Okay, here's a um, great problem. It's a pretty challenging problem, too. Uh, so, 44. Six flags, ten roller coasters, and three of them. The Boss, the Screaming Eagle, and Evil Knievel are wooden coasters. Ethan wants to ride two more roller coasters for leading the park. Not the same one twice. He decides to select them by drawing names from a hat. Determine the sample space. List the possible random samples. So for A. The random samples. So let's see, or the sample space, I mean. So we've got the Screaming Eagle. And then the boss. There's one. Screaming Eagle. And then the River King Mine Train. I'll call it the train. And then the Screaming Eagle. And then Batman. I'm losing all the capitals. And then Screaming Eagle. Don't worry, I'm not going to write them all out. And then Mr. Freeze. And I have to go down the list, all of these, and then without repeating, you know, one and then the other. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, how many will there be here? Look here, because I really don't want you to write them all out. I mean, that is just a huge list, as you'll see. So, how many choices am I going to have for the first list? How many, how many different... Um, rides do I have for the first list? Well, I've got 10 different rides that I'm going to write on the first list. And how many choices do I have for the second list? I've got nine, right? Because I'm not repeating. So I've got 10 different options to write for the first, not the first list, I'm sorry, the first ride, and nine choices for the second ride. So this is choices for the first, and this is choices for the second. So I've got a total of 90 possible um, outcomes. So if I listed them all, then answering all these questions would actually be pretty easy because I could just count them all up and say, oh, there's out of 90. Okay, but we're going to try to think about this and figure it out how many we've got and so forth and do it that way. Um, does that make sense? Kind of like this. If here's, here's a quick little example. If you've got... Um, Let's see, and I think I said this in one of the classes. You know, if I have four shirts and three pairs of pants, how many different outfits could I have? Well, it's four times three. I've got 12 different outfits that I can mix and match because I've got four and then one, two, three, you know, for each of them uh, that I can wear four and one pair of pants. So I got four days four in another pair, and four in a third pair. So that's four plus four plus four is 12 outfits. Same thing here. I've got 10, Screaming Eagle and nine, the next one in nine, the next one in nine. So it's 10 times nine outcomes. All right, so let's get down to this. B, what's the probability that Ethan will ride Mr. Freeze and Evil Knievel? Well, of all of this list, how many of them are... Mr. Freeze and Evil Knievel. Well, I could write it in that order, or I could have chosen them in this order. Right? So that's two of them out of the 90. And two of them from the 90. If I do 2 divided by 90, oops, I got my calculator on the side here, is 0 0.0222. Which it better be the same as that, right? Okay, so probability of freeze and evil can evil is 0 0.0222. Okay, because remember, you can get Mr. Freeze and evil can evil two different ways. C. What's the probability that Ethan will ride the screaming eagle? Probability of screaming. Eagle. 
Well, of the 90 rides, how many of them involve the Screaming Eagle? Okay, well, that's, that's kind of a toughie because I've got 10 of them. Well, actually, 9 of them right off the bat with Screaming Eagle written the first, right? Because there's 10 rides, so I got 9 of them here. Because I can't say Screaming Eagle and Screaming Eagle and get 10. So there's 9, first of all. So I've got Screaming Eagle. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Where? It's Screaming Eagle and all of the other 9 rides. Right? But then I have every other ride. Batman and Screaming Eagle. Um whatever, Freeze and Screaming Eagle, Knievel and Screaming Eagle, Boss and Screaming Eagle, right? And there's nine of these, too. So I've got nine ways here, nine ways here, so there's 18 total ways to get Screaming Eagle, and that'd be 18 divided by 90 is 0.2. Okay? So see, this is really a question about just thinking about different combinations of things. D. What's probably the Ethan will ride two wooden roller coasters? So two wooden roller coasters. Well, there's three wooden ones all together. And of those 90 total ways, how many of them are wooden? Well, how many choices do I have to ride wooden roller coasters? I've got six. For the first one, I have six choices to make. I'm sorry three because there's three wooden roller coasters for the first that's my first choice and for my second choice I have two choices to make because there's if I choose one of the wooden roller coasters then I only have two choices left so I've got six different ways to choose two wooden coasters. All right, that's the same thing that we did up here. 10 times 9. I've got three choices for the first and two for the second. So I've got six ways to choose the wooden roller coasters. So the probability that I ride two wooden roller coasters would be 6 divided by 90 would be 6 divided by 90 is 0 0.0666 or 0 0.067 if I round it. Okay. And lastly, E, what's the probability that we'll get no wooden coasters? So that means you could get, uh, that to be all metal coasters. So probability that they're all metal coasters. Well, there's seven metal coasters. So that means we got seven uh, metal. Well, how many ways to ride? seven metal coasters. Okay, we'll talk about how to count like this in class. Um, well, I got seven choices for the first coaster and then six choices for the second or 42 total ways. So the probability that I get all metal would be 42 out of 90, which had better be what they say, hopefully, if they did it right. 0.466, which is what they've got right here, 0.467 if you round it. Okay, so the big thing for this problem is just making sure that it's counting. How do you count this? How do you count this? How do you count that? Okay, once you get that down, then you're okay on this. All right, see you in class.